Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for Season 1, Episode 8 of The Last of Us. This time the title of the episode is, is When We Are In Need. Uh, and yeah, we are here, we are back. Uh, the, la the remaining two episodes, Episode 8 and Episode 9, are now live on, on HBO Max. And I'm ready to watch them. I'm gonna watch them back to back. Uh, I was gonna watch Episode 8 yesterday, but... I think it will be a better experience if I watch them together. So today, uh, if you're on Patreon, you get to watch both of them together. If you're on YouTube, you get to watch episode 8 today and episode 9 tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to do episode 8. Like I said, uh, I am excited. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm kind of like... Because this is one of like the part of the game where it's very, very dark. So let's see how they handle uh, uh, this part that is, is, is very important for the character of Ellie and also for, for Joel as well, you know, but especially for Ellie. Uh, let's see how it goes. Let's see how they, uh, they do it and if they have any other surprises for us coming. So I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited as well. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you love The Last of Us. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Uncut Reaction is always posted first on Patreon. Hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys like it. And without further ado, let's just begin with Season 1, Episode 8 of The Last of Us. Here we go. Revelation 21. Damn it! Oh my and I god! I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Ugh. The first heaven and the first earth were passed away. And I heard a great voice out of heaven. It was David! Oh my god! When can we bury him? Bury him, you say? ground is too cold to dig. We'll bury your father in the spring. Right, because that's what we're going to do. We're going to guess it's going to bury the bones. James. Yeah. Isn't that Troy? I sense doubt in there. That's Troy. They haven't lost faith in you, David. They're just scared. Not from them. That's the guy who is a, the actor and voice actor for Joel in the game, right? Isn't him? With a little more beer? That's him! Yes, that's him! It's weird. Knowing that he can't eat right now. I'm, s I'm sad that she's not with her bow and arrow. The rabbit. <laughs> Shit. Fucking way, yes. <laughs> I love it. Could be with my joystick right now and like. This is a party chase a deer. Joe! Drop your rifle! <laughs> now! Isn't this great? Because that's Joel. Turn and face me. Slow. Any sudden moves, I put one right between your eyes. Ditto for buddy boy. <laughs> All right, go talk to Howard. He's got a case with some penicillin. Bring back two bottles and a syringe. Damn it. It's not code, James. Do as I said. <laughs> buddy boy here is irrelevant, but now... You know, you really shouldn't be out here all on your own. From where I'm sitting, you shouldn't be out here on your own. <laughs> True. Fair enough. 
There's room for you in our group, if you want. Yeah, bitch. Inviting me to your hunger club? Thanks. <laughs> it's true. We're hungry, but we're still here. I'm a decent man, just trying to take care of the people who rely on me. Right, yeah, you cold there. Wasn't my choice. We didn't expect this winter to be so cruel. Nothing will grow. The game's been hard to find. So I sent four of our people to a nearby town mm. to, to scavenge what they could. Yeah. And only three of them came back. And They're the one related. That was a father. He had a daughter just like you. I can protect you. If you look in that cabin, so there's a starlight. There's a satellite uh, comic. Joe, where the fuck do I put this? You're gonna throw fuck. all of that in there? Okay, fuck it. Yeah, right into the wound. Why not? Why, though? <laughs> but anyway. She doesn't know what she's doing. I love that she put that, like, the entire bottle inside. <laughs> but hey, it's gonna help. Sweetie. What is it? Dear. Venison. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh my lord. <clears throat> if you know, you know. You should kill both of them. Don't show me the food. Oh my god. Amen. Are they all afraid of him? Eh. We know, right? Look at all the meat that he's getting! Oh my god! Stay alert. If this man's not already dead, he's dangerous. How about the girl? We bring her back with us. This fucker. I don't mean to question your sense of mercy, David. If we leave her out here, she'll die. Yeah, maybe that's God's will. God's will is whatever he decides it is. There are men coming, okay? I'm gonna lead them away from you. But if anybody makes it down here, you fucking kill them. You got it? Joe. Joe, do not fall asleep. He's too weak yet. God. She's so brave. this part oh the horse that's that's what i was saying i got her he did say one thing how dare you disobey me Scared, bitch. Be scared. There we go. There we fucking go. Timothy. Oh, you're Marco. Oh shit. There we go. There we go. He's gonna do the map thing, isn't him? Alive. Where? Oh, fuck! Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, the town! What town? 
Silver Lake. Mark it down, bitch. You're gonna point to where we are and where your resort is. And it better be the exact same spot your buddy points to. And he's just recovering, and look at him. You know, powerful I Joel. Swear we are. I swear. I swear, ask him. Go ask him, he'll tell you I'm not lying. I ain't telling you shit. Don't worry, okay. I believe him. No. I believe him. No. <laughs> I fucking love Joel. Did she realize? Did she notice? Uh-uh, bitch. She noticed, right? <laughs> it was a last resort. You think it doesn't shame me? But what was I supposed to do? Let them starve? These people who put their lives in my hands? Right, you did it for the... expect me to yeah. keep them safe? Who love me? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. And you know what I see when I look at you? Uh, I know what you see when you look at her. Me. No, oh, fuck you. You remind me of me. You're a natural leader. You're smart. Loyal. Oh, I've this, always had a violent heart. This disgusting man. And I struggled with it for a long time, but then the world ended and I was shown the truth. And, and, and what is that? My God. Yeah. No. Like cordyceps. And Ugh. all I want is an equal. A friend. If you think you hate him right now, just what wait, wait. My friend? Give, give it a few seconds. Imagine the life we could give them. Imagine the life Ugh. you could build. I told you, if you thought cannibalism was like, oh my god. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You little cunt. Oh my god. Let's see what I go tell the others now. Ellie. What? Ellie. Tell them that Ellie is, is a little, little girl, girl who broke, broke her fucking finger! <laughs> oh, Ellie. A piece of shit. And he was a teacher. When, you know, before the apocalypse. Pedro Pascal is so hot. The things you're gonna find. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. The cannibals. And now so are you. <laughs> Roll on my sleeve, look at it. Look at it! Ugh. <laughs> uh. What did you say? I didn't happen for a reason. Oh, this is a really difficult part. Oh, God. I tried, though. So, how did you do it? What's the secret? Or are you just that fucking special? Jeez. No one likes being humiliated, Ellie. You don't know how good I am! Tom, oh, sure. Neither one of us is dying today. You wanna bet on that? You see, I've changed my mind. I've decided you do need a father. Oh, fuck you. So I'm gonna keep you. <laughs> oh. oh my god! Sweetie! I thought you already knew. <laughs> the fighting is the part I like the most. Oh my god! <laughs> Don't be afraid. <laughs> oh, sweetie! Oh. 
all the awards to Bella, honestly. Okay, baby girl. Oh, baby girl. I got you. He loves Ellie so much. He lost a daughter, he's not losing another one. See, all these things is what makes the end. Oh my god. Okay, guys, so that was the end of season uh, one, episode eight of The Last of Us. And this episode, this part of the game is incredible. I don't know if it hits different to a person that has not played the game. Um... But it hits perfectly for someone who has watched the game. Is this part is the most ruthless part. The uh, For me, the reason, one of the main reasons why Joel makes the decision that he makes. And the big mistake that, by the end, Marlene makes. Um, in not including... Joel into the decision making and not including Ellie in the decision making uh, of you know what's going to happen I'm not gonna say it but you know the end of the show what you know transpires there um, and this is the moment where you question as well as Joel will um, whether if the world is worthy of anything from Ellie you know I know we're looking for a cure right but does the world deserve it D does the people that the world like the people that have become the way that they have deserve salvation in my opinion I, I think it comes down to that and Merlene will say some things by the end that she's very right, but that she doesn't consider that beforehand all of that had already happened to them in their journey across the country to try and find the fireflies, you know? Um, Ellie does change from this point on. on. Uh, do I believe that she has a violent heart? She's, she's a violent person. She's a result of 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 the world that she lives in and also can we say maybe maybe this this rage that she has could it come from the infection i mean she's not infect i mean she is infected she doesn't so show any signs she's immune to it but is she immune to that part of the anger and the violence as everybody else you know because everybody that turns, turns into a violent person because they try to, you know. But for Ellie, it hasn't gone to that point, right? That's why she's immune. But is she immune to that? I don't know. Is this, you know, and it comes to the, is it like, are you born this way or are you made this way, right? I don't know. In my opinion, I think it's, she's made into, like, she has had to have this sort of outburst of violence due to the world that she lives in, due to the circumstances that she has faced, you know? And Ellie is, you know, when you first meet her, she is, yeah, she is a, 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 a little bit of a rebel, you know, and she is... Uh, Kind of like fighting a bit. Like she's at that age as well, right? Where we all feel like the world is against us, you know? Um, she, like when we first meet her, she is she comes from recently lo losing someone deary and like important to her, like Riley, you know? Um, and she's sassy and she's, she's, she's you know... 
Um, she has a comeback, the dirty mouth, you know. Um, and that's that's who's Ellie, you know. But as you see her from the first episode, as he, her just being like this snappy, smart ass type of kid, to what she's going to become is, you know, it's awful and it's it's sad to see this entire transformation. Bella did an amazing job during this episode. It was incredible. That last scene, her screams, everything. She did she she did everything in her own way, you know, because there there is like everything is very much a copy of like not an exact copy of the game, but it's very close to the games. They don't deviate too much. They give us more reasons on why people are the way they are and, like, you know, a little bit more of hints, things like that. But the game has this very long cut scenes where you listen to the story and all of that. Um, and it's very cinematic in that way, you know. Um, so the game, the, the, the show had to follow that and they have followed it in my opinion, to the letter, and it has it has been amazing, it, it just precious, you know, but each person, you know, the way that Ashley played Ellie, the way that Joel, uh, uh, Troy played Joel, you know, and the way Bella and Pedro have played the characters are, in essence, the same, but in their own ways, you know, and... All four of them deserve all the fucking awards because it it's brilliant. It's brilliant. The work that they have done is brilliant, you know, and impeccable. And and for them to find those little areas where they could allow themselves to put something in the characters that is theirs, right? It's it's fucking incredible, you know. I mean, you go, you come into the, like for for Pedro and 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 Bella. I think it's it's a little bit more difficult because for fans of the game, there are pretty much everyone who's watching, uh, or at least eighty percent of the people that are watching or have played the game. Um, for the people like us that are that have played the game, we we know we had already fallen in love with these characters and these voices and. You know, we, we know them, you know. Um, we, we we have known them. And, like, for them to come in and to take on these roles and give them life in, in a different way and making, their, making them their own, it's kind of, like, fantastic, you know. And to see it playing on the screen, it was just... It was perfect. It was perfect. I, 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 I'll give them all the fucking awards to to all of them and in this circumstances to Bella uh especially because she blew it out like the feeling the raw feeling of like you know she's hopeless you know she is in this situation when she is like encounter she she encounters a group that eats people that are cannibals you know and she might either get killed and get eaten or, right, or she becomes the wife of this fucking man that believes himself to be a preacher and a know and all but is basically a cult, right, where he can do whatever the fuck he wants and, and he is, he believes that he's offering heaven for Ellie, you know, and, and then dares to, like, even in flames, like the, the entire resort is in flames. And he is like, oh, you know, that's the way, like, don't fight love. It's just so disgusting what was going to happen. And I do like it because in the game, it's also Ellie, the one who um, who saves herself. She's no damsel in distress. Uh she saves herself. Joel has nothing to do with that. But he is there for the aftermath, you know. And for the first time, like they say, in 20 plus years, he says the, the, the baby girl, you know. he. It's just because Ellie does represent that, that daughter that he lost. That's, that's what it is. That's why he's now so protective of her because that's what Ellie represents 
for for Joel, the daughter that he lost. And he he's not about to lose her again. That's that not in his lifetime. <laughs> Anyways, um what a heavy packed episode. The guy that played David, oh like all the awards because he was a he was a David. Uh of course there is we heard a clicker. When I heard the clicker on the woods, I was like, oh, they're gonna do the clicker thing. They're gonna do the little thing. But then I was like, but they, he doesn't have his rifle. But then I remember, but he does have his gun, you know. And they do fight. And they even fight a, a bloater, you know. Um, but that didn't happen here. And when Joel, for Joel to get to Ellie, he does fight a few people as well. But they didn't show us that. Um, and it seems like they did record it because he was near, like, the gas station. And we know that in the gas station is where he fights some people, you know, to get to Ellie. Uh, but yeah, yeah. This was insane. The moment that he discovers the bodies. <gasps> it just shocks you in the same way he did in the game. It's just, ugh. you know, and the, the, the food. Oh, my God. It was so disgusting. Um, but yeah. Anyways, great episode. Cannot wait, which I'm, I mean, I'm not going to wait. I'm going to finish this, upload, and watch episode 9, which is ready to be watched right now. So, I'm excited. I hope you guys uh, are excited to watch my reactions for this game as well. For this game, for this show. And, you know, that last episode is coming up. Uh, if you're on, on Patreon, you get to watch it today. If you're on YouTube, you get to watch it tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Uh, and for now, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys continue supporting for more. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, hit notification bell. Uncut reaction is always posted first on Patreon. Thank you for watching. And that's it. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for The Last of Us. That's it. I'll see you guys next time. Mwah. Bye, guys.